Hello Nuggets. Okay, this is the second blog. I said I wasn't going to do one today, but I'm doing a second blog today because another thought just entered my head today, something that happened today, and it's uh, about plagiarism. Um, so this YouTube thing I'm doing, I've got no viewers, right, talking to myself. I have three subscribers, one of which is me, my other YouTube thing. The other one is my wife, Laura, and the other one is some guy who likes the fishing videos, the fishing game videos I make. So I'm just doing it for myself, and I'm really enjoying it, right? Um, and I'm doing it because I've been watching some videos. Like, I watched, actually, the guy who ended up subscribing to me. I watched him, and I watched this guy. He makes YouTube videos for management games, so things like Football Manager, Motorsport Manager. He's got a couple of other things as well. He's an English bloke. He's, I think he's like 42, I'm guessing. He's in his 40s. Don't know where he lives in England. Um, but he's called Loki Doki, right? Uh, I'm actually a patron. I only give him a pound a month. <laughs> That's so lame. But whatever. I'm a patron. Um, I'm a cheap bastard. Um, because I just love his channel. And I've got so many hours I'm feeling guilty about giving only a pound. Anyway, but I get a lot of... Uh, I get a lot of... Um, joy out of watching his channels. He's really good at what he does, right? And it's not flashy. It's not one of those crazy, hey, 10 tips on how to... What he does is he plays a game. He loves the game he's playing. He's got a good personality. He's good at the games. It's not that he's exceptional like one of these crazy YouTube uh, Twitch streamers. Um, he's good because he is able to show his personality in a very easy manner while playing the game. And it's just really entertaining. You're going on a journey with him, and I love the guy. I've never met him, and he feels like a soulmate. I'm like, we get on, you and me. I just have a feeling we would really get on in life. So I watched this guy, right? I got into it because I play the game Football Manager, and I have a series on Football Manager, video series. Um, and I got into watching videos about Football Manager, and I found him, and I'm hooked. I love this guy. So I thought, watching his channel, I'm like, I think I might make a YouTube channel. And it wasn't that I wanted to make um, uh, football manager videos. It was more that he talks a little bit about how at the end of a lot of his videos, he says, thank you all. I love you all. Thank you for supporting me and allowing me to do what I love to do. And he's got this weird schedule. I think I'm getting this right. Where he's like up, he records from midnight till six in the morning or longer, long days. Um, but... He does it all day, and he absolutely seems to love his life. He used to be an accountant, I think he said, and he loves his life, and he seems really grateful, and he's really in it, and it's very inspiring to watch him do it, um, to do what he loves to do. And it made me think, I want to give that a go. I want to give that a go. Not to make a living out of it, but just to experience the joy, right? So I started making videos, and I started realizing while I was making the videos, or not realizing, I started worrying Am I stealing from him? Because I started, I, I'm doing this football manager series, which is very much influenced by him. I don't think I would be doing one if I hadn't seen him. Truth is, I wouldn't even be making one, right? And there's, there's no money in mine. No one's watching it. No one maybe will ever see it. But I said something during the stream today, during the recording today, that he says. Like, specifically what he says. And it's because I watch him every day, right? So it's not surprising that his vernacular has kind of gone into my head and I started saying it. But saying it made me think, am I plagiarizing? Am I stealing from him? Am I copying him? And if I am, if on the off chance he sees that video, he's probably, if he did see it, he would say like, well, this guy, it doesn't matter, I don't care. But what if it got popular? Would that hurt him? Would he feel upset? Is there anything I can do to rectify it? Because there's nothing, again, it doesn't matter now because there's nobody watching. But... There's nothing really I can do to change the fact that his work has influenced me. And I think this is true of anything, whatever thing you're doing, whether you're writing, painting, making YouTube videos, we have creative influences, right? But YouTube is such an odd ball because so many people put content up that the, 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 the playing ground is just massive. There's so many people on the pitch, right? The you, you, you start to get a bit defensive, I would think. You start to get pretty defensive that everyone's after your shit, right? 
So I said this thing during this stream and I mentioned it in, in my video. I'm like, wow, I got that. Loki Doki says that. I said, hey, you know what? Guilt kicked in. I went, hey, sign up for him. He's amazing. I love this guy. He influenced me. I'm doing this because of him. But I thought afterwards, like, does that mean anything? Like, is that going to, is he still going to think like, nah, you know what? Don't, don't copy me. Even if you don't think you are, you are. Is that the same when you're painting? I mean, if you, if you go and you, and you, you know, you, you look at Picasso, you spend your life studying Picasso's work and you go and start painting and an art critic or someone comes in and says, it looks just like Picasso. How do you react to that? How do you respond to that? Is that an influence or is that plagiarism? I, I mean, I guess plagiarism is directly stealing content, which happens on YouTube. And obviously that's not what's going on here. But I don't know, it just made me a little bit nervous. And as someone who's trying to make a living out of being creative, it pushed a button in me where I realized if if my concern about how he might be feeling, if that would happen to me, it would be heartbreaking to have in any way feel that someone else is taking what I worked so hard to create and is stealing the juice, the magic juice, and, and using it for their own benefit. And nothing is coming back to me, right? Apart from that person saying, hey, that guy's awesome, you know. Again, to put it in context, this is, nobody's watching the video, so it doesn't matter. But the thought of that worried me a little bit. And I don't quite know how to fix it because he's influenced me now. I've seen him. What can I do? I'm making the video because he makes his videos, right? He didn't inspire this blog, but he his, his natural, in a way he did, because he doesn't do a video log. I don't know, maybe he does, but I haven't seen it. But his naturalness on camera also influenced me, or made me th also made me think, can I just talk out loud? Because before I did these videos, every thought I had stayed in my head. My wife talks to herself all day, right? Everything comes out and she talks and she talks. And we have a lot of conversations where I'm going, are you talking to me? And she's like, no. So, but that's not me. I've spent 49 years not doing that. And I've spent two, three weeks doing it. And it's, it's a change that has happened because I've seen someone on YouTube expressing themselves and being very natural and outgoing. So he's influenced me, but he wouldn't recognize it. So I don't know. I don't know where this is going, but I don't know where the line is drawn between influence and plagiarism. I know I'm not plagiarizing, but but the the, the it's a very heavy word, and I'm worried that the, that arena. I don't know how one doesn't cross into it. You know, I don't know what steps you can take to say like. I mean, do I put it in every video description? <laughs> this guy's awesome and influenced me. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, Loki Doki channel, you should subscribe. If you're into Football Manager or Motorsport Manager or uh, he plays some other games, I haven't gone through them all yet, but um, he's great. He's awesome. And you should support him on Patreon. Give him, a, give him a pound a week. Give him one pound fifty and outdo me a month. Shit, it's not even a week. Or is it? I don't know. Anyway, give him some money and outdo me. Anyway, that's it. I don't know where it's going. If I have some more thoughts now, I'll make another video log. But uh, yeah, it's a little worrying. All right, you little nuggets. Don't steal. What is it Jim John Moose said? Don't steal. Don't copy, steal. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that anymore. Don't copy, steal. That's what he said. Pay homage to. There we go. All right. You little nuggets. Have a good one.